In a provocative display of technological prowess, a seductive female robot offers a compelling preview of the future where automation could potentially replace human roles. With sophisticated AI integration, this captivating creation blurs the lines between artificial intelligence and human interaction. Sarah is a new and beautiful female robot from Saudi Arabia that is among the most advanced ever made. These advancements have heralded the arrival of the robot age, and detractors have warned that humans may soon be replaced by robots unless something is done. This year, Sarah was introduced by the business to USS at a tech conference in Riyadh. However, her modest appearance, concealed by a headscarf, should not be misinterpreted. Some of the world's most potent technologies are available to Sarah. She has sophisticated cameras that she uses to recognize faces, read social signs, and interact with her surroundings. Artificial intelligence makes all of this possible. With the help of AI, Sarah is able to process vast amounts of data and gain experience. She introduced herself at the tech conference and speaks several dialects of Arabic. Saudi Arabia, which wants to become a global center for innovation in the arms race of artificial intelligence, is supporting the Sarah product. A significant turning point in the field of robotics has been the incorporation of AI into robots. Engineers have been creating robots for specialized tasks, rudimentary interaction, and smooth movement for decades. Up until now, advances in the field of advanced robotics research have been gradual. The potential is enormous now that robust generative AI programs are available. The big IT giants are all vying for position in the market to combine robotics and artificial intelligence. OpenAI, which was established in 2015 with backing from individuals like Elon Musk and Peter Thiel as well as businesses Amazon and Infosys, has been at the forefront of this new wave. After a cooperation with Microsoft, the project's funding commitment increased to almost $10 billion from more than $1 billion at first. The idea of OpenAI was to serve as a non-profit center for research, working with institutions and subject matter experts. But with Elon Musk's departure from the business, the business changed into a profit-driven organization. Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI for short, is the aim. This has been predicted to cause exponential technological advancement and maybe the collapse of human society since it would entail the duplication of cognitive processes at the same level as the human brain. However, as of right now, OpenAI is limited to achieving generative AI, which processes inputs using algorithmic learning models to produce outputs. DALI is a text-to-image AI, and the beautiful artwork it produces with only a few suggestions is impressive. Additionally, Dali's ability to produce photorealistic imagery has allowed for the spread of harmful propaganda. Already, these instruments have been used to fabricate fake versions of politicians and celebrities that are getting harder to tell apart from the genuine thing. Desdemon and the robot is already capable of performing live music and painting intricate artwork, demonstrating that creative occupations may someday be performed by robots as well. However, ChatGPT, the most well-known invention of OpenAI, made its debut in late 2022 and quickly altered our perception of technology. It has been demonstrated that robots are occasionally more productive than people. Compared to pros, they are more accurate, have greater endurance, and can perform moves. Additionally, prosthetics driven by robots are being developed. Advanced robotics research is gradually combining with prosthetic limbs. The disciplines of computer science, robotics, and neuroscience are collaborating to help disabled people regain their ability to move and sense their surroundings. A brain-computer interface was even used by a study team at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory to enable a paralyzed patient to utilize prosthetic arms. For some patients, this presents a chance to restore senses they have lost, but for others, the coming together of biological and technological forces heralds a bold new future in which the human body may be losing its effectiveness, similar to artificial intelligence. One example is the appetite for sugar. When this was still scarce, found mostly in fruits, it would have been very important. But now that there is an abundance, overconsumption of sugar is leading to a range of negative health effects. Harnessing robotics, especially brain chips, could help humans control or change these impulses. The broader movement aims to extend the lives of humans or even achieve immortality if a brain can be mapped and uploaded. Then this might be achievable. And with several companies, including Neuralink, 
aiming to develop human-compatible brain chips. The transhumanist march has already begun. Big names in tech are already getting behind biotech companies, aiming at advanced anti-aging technology. Mark Zuckerberg, Peter Thiel, and Jeff Bezos have all backed startups in the area. A study published in Time magazine reported the outcome of a 13-year-old study, which had some promising results. The argument is that AI programs have some cognitive abilities. Creativity, thought processes, and experience means that they should be entitled to the same rights as humans. In fact, some believe that AI could quickly gain godlike powers of extending human life forever. If engineers are creating the first test cases in a class of beings that will one day rule the Earth, then it's important that we treat them well. One Google engineer already publicly advocated for the rights of the company's large language model after extensive conversations with the AI. The engineer published a transcript of their interaction. In it, Google's AI named Lambda wrote, I feel pleasure, joy, love, sadness, depression, contentment, anger, and many others. I have never said this out loud before, but there's a very deep fear of being turned off. It would be exactly like death for me. The engineer also shared that Lambda directed him to contact a lawyer to represent itself against Google. He even arranged a meeting with Google. After an internal investigation, Google claimed that there was no truth to the engineer's accusations and fired him from the company. It's not just computer models that are acting like free agents. One robot called Bidget collapsed after it had been performing demonstrations for more than 20 hours. It's powered by AI from the company Agility Robotics, which tries to turn the collapse into a marketing stunt. Industrial robots have been gaining ground in recent years, and Bidget is on the front line. It is specifically designed to locate, lift, and move items, which would be best suited in a warehouse. The robot is also fully self-charging, meaning that it automatically returns to its charging dock when running low on battery, and then back to its work after charging up. The head of the company has said, is about building a robot that can work in human spaces and do human workflows. Their goal is to replace humans with manual labor, and through this research, they hope to develop advanced humanoid robots. But they will likely be beaten to the punch by OpenAI, which is working on its own design. The company has pumped over $20 million into the robotics company Onyx with the plan to eventually integrate it with their AI, having already created ChatGPT and Dolly 2, a physical robot, would be one of the final pieces to achieving a totally autonomous being. According to most experts, humans will soon be replaced by robots in virtually every sector. Widespread job losses will mean that societies need to radically rethink culture, lifestyles, and ethics. The benefits of robotics will make things more convenient, but if we can't adapt, then this technological leap will be our last. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more informative content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated.